Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video about TypeScript enums. So to get started, I will actually tell you that you probably should not use enums. And before we get into that, I'd like to tell you anyway what enums are. And enums are simply a way uh, for us to uh, define a set of constants. Now, that in and of itself is, you know, fine to use, but enums do have some documented issues. So, and this all starts, uh, at least started for me, I found out about this in the, uh, in the React TypeScript cheat sheet, which is a sort of, uh, you could say, like, documentation for, for React with TypeScript. Um, there's a lot of great things in here. And right here you see that they say we recommend avoiding using enums as far as possible. And you can check out this uh, yourself. Um, but there's actually uh, a guy on the TypeScript team uh, called Orta and, and he is agreeing to um, this article where the documented issues are, are described. And uh, it's pretty much a whole rant about why uh, you should uh, prefer union times over enums. But I will show both to you and will show you as well why it's probably a good uh, idea to use union types instead. So to get started, um, I'm going to build a, a very simple feature. Um, and it's kind of like based on uh, a checkout flow, right? So if you're on an e-commerce site, <clears throat> most of the time you, um, you have to fill in your details and then have to pick a shipping method and then do the actual payment. So let's build something like that. So I will um, call this, uh, let's say checkout step and set checkout step is your state. Let's say we start off with um, uh, filling in our details, right? So we will call that step details. And let's say we have I'll just put it right here. We have a, a detail step. We have a shipping step and we have the actual payment step. All right. So now I will do some uh, logic for conditionally rendering uh, this stuff. So I can say, for example, if checkout step um, is details, in that case, render, for example, a paragraph tag. Um, let's do a header tag with details. And we'll have a button with the type button and on click event, which will essentially say set checkout step and then we want to set it to payment or no shipping it was shipping and i'll just call this next um let's see i have to wrap this in some fragment tags there we go and now i can copy and paste this and do the same for shipping All right so this will be shipping this will be payment and then the actual payment step will not have a next button anymore. So let's take a look. I think this looks fine. So now we have our details. When I click on the button, we go to shipping and then we go to payment, right? So this is something uh, that often uh, happens in your React applications and you can then, for example, I don't know, conditionally render uh, some, you know, part of the content on your page, kind of like what we did right here, right? So now let's imagine that um, we make a typo somewhere, right? So let's say instead of uh, saying shipping, we say shipping. Now you will see that um, our application will not have any errors, but now if I click next, nothing shows up and that's simply because the set checkout step currently is set to and we can check that in the um, dev tools right here you can see the state is set to ship in however 
we only check for the checkout step details, shipping or payment, right? So, and it's not able to find shipping. So that's why it's not rendering anything. Now we can use TypeScript to prevent this problem. What we could do, we can make use of a union type, which we've actually used before. So I could say, for example, type checkout step um, equals, and it can be either details or it can be shipping or it can be payment. And now I can say that the use state should always um, be one of the detail steps defined, right? And now when I save it, you will see our app will crash and it will say argument of type ship in is not assignable to parameter of type set state action checkout step, right? So now if I change this back to shipping and save it, you will see that when I refresh the application, it will still work. So this is a great way to prevent um, these kind of mistakes. And what's also nice is that we can use it the other way around too, right? So if we would, for example, make a type right here, our app will crash as well because it will say um, the condition will always return false because the checkout step and shipping have no overlap. So it's pretty much saying that shipping is not, um, you know, part of the available checkout steps. So that's a great way to, um, to prevent these kind of errors. Now, what's also nice about it is, let's imagine we were writing this code. So um, we, we would do it again, right? Now, if I, as soon as I open up the function and we'll um, add the double quotes right here, you will see the available options. So it's a sort of built-in documentation as well, because if, for example, someone else would have uh, written this code, it would be very easy for me to make a selection without having to go to the code and see what are the actual options out there. So of course, in this case, uh, we want it to be payment and there we go. So that is simply union types. And this is using union types as a, like in an enum style, right? I'd like to show you enums anyway, but uh, I do not recommend you use them, but I want that you at least have seen them once because you'll see them often um, appearing in code bases. So what we could do instead of saying this, I would just comment it out for now, is saying enum, checkout step. And then right here, we could say details um, equals detail string and then we have the same for uh, shipping shipping and we have payment right here payment but now when I will save this file um, and refresh the app you will see that it let's see there we go Right here, it will now say argument of type details it not, is not assignable to parameter of type checkout step. So in order to make this work, we have to explicitly say right here that is that it is a checkout step. And then we can pick the uh, details property from it. And we then can do it for these as well. Checkout step dot shipping and checkout step dot um, payment. And now when I will save this, it will work. But um, well, in this case, you could also decide to, for example, put right here that this is checkout step dot details and so on, right? You can, uh, can do that for those as well. Um, the problem with this, at least the problem, things some people don't like about it is that we are not able to use the uh, string value anymore, right? We really have to use uh, now checkout step dot the property name of our enum. And uh, another thing is that if we want to, for example, use that checkout step in other components, we always have to import it. So 
that's why a lot of people say why not just use the union type that's much easier um, to use and um, yeah why not use that so we are going to stick with the union type for now and that was pretty much it for um, TypeScript enums so remember don't use enums use union types whenever you can and uh, thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one